I'm just showing another shot of the room. I do my YouTubes in here. This is um, because I have to change the, I had to change the cameras around. I'm going to be going to my table that I do the readings at. Um, it's another table. It's on the other part of the room here. So I just thought I'd put this in there. <laughs> but um, here's the table. And I'll be doing the readings with my new deck, the one JJ Swiss. I'm showing all three of my decks there on the table, but I'll just be doing a Celtic cross with my um, new deck, the one JJ Swiss. There is a bird's eye view of what we'll be looking at here. And you can see the, I use this table a lot um, for when I'm just doing something for myself as far as readings. I felt it had a lot of energy to it. And um, I just like it, but um, it works out nice. These cards really are um, good for, for uh, the cards are good for reading. They got a nice, the cards, the cards got a nice slide to them and they're, they're just a good card stock. I don't have anything where I can send to you personally with the deck, but I have, um, you can buy it internationally, wherever you live. So in the US or out of the country. I will have them at home someday i'm not too sure when that's going to be this deck is not shuffled so i'm going to just do a quick shuffle but i'm going to draw cards randomly for the spread incidentally the decks all three of these decks have a nice slide to them and um, they work very nicely jj is a linen finish on the cards and um, it's a nice feel. It's a nice feel to the deck. I'm going to give them a basic shuffle. But I'm going to randomly pick cards out of this deck, too. So we'll be doing a Celtic cross. And this is the way I lay out the cross. Six of coins. Again, these are not shuffled. Ace of Swords, Judgment, Five of Wands, Magician, Four of Cups, Two of Wands, Strength, The Moon, and last, we go with the Eight of Swords. This is how, the, this is how it's going to look on your table. Originally from the 1800s. And um, a lot of you are familiar with the deck. I just eliminated all the color in the original and added a new palette. And I put it more depth in the background. Is something you might be able to see here closer. If you look at it like that. So all my my readings are always going to be the same. They're going to be how are we going to accomplish our goal, whatever that happens to be. And I look at numbers, positions one and two as a start of what what, what are we really looking at here as far as a question goes. We have obstacles here with the six of pentacles on a new start, we're trying to start something new with the Ace of Swords, but there are snags here with the Six of Pentacles that we still have to look into and we have to take care of. What you're seeing here with the Two of Wands down in the possession of um, position seven, I look at position seven as how the client sees their own question. You have some key choices that you have to make that you're not too sure about right now. And that's, uh, that's probably what the reading is about, not knowing which way to go here. You're going through a time now of careful evaluation with the judgment card. Currently going through situations right now is position three. Taking careful judgments to try to make these decisions over here and make some changes here with the five of swords. You have some things that have to be altered. You know that. 
and things have to be overcome before you can really get this ace of swords moving. Those advancements or alterations are going to be based on your judgment or on your choices that you're making right now. What you got going for you as an asset here in position five as a magician card is you're very capable of getting this taken care of once things are carefully planned. Hence, again, we still have these choices that have to be made. The careful plans are important for this magician to proceed. Once you got that plan in place, though, things should move pretty quickly, and you'll be able to break those barriers of the stability that you have in place right now with the four of cups. Four of six is, the position six is opportunities to come. Four is our stability. I've seen that stability being broken, stability being things not moving. And um, maybe you can look at that as st stability in a good sense, too, saying things are starting to fall into place. Right now, what you have as far as the timing goes, it's not really a time to act as far as it's more of a time to strengthen your position on things with the force card or the judgment card. I mean, strength card here. The purpose here with the moon card is exploring things that never been that you haven't looked into before. There's a lot of mystery in whatever this is you're trying to do. It's a lot of new situations with it, and it's all um, unknown to you. So even though you have a lot of capability, you never really uh, you have a lot of mystery here. That things are very curious to you about where you're going, and it's just something that really intrigues you or really holds your interest. Eight of Swords here. Final position, advancement. Eights are advancement. Things will progress once these decisions are made. The key decisions, what's, the whole key to this is going to be making the right decision. Your careful evaluation is important right here. And the alterations of what's going to happen as you do make a judgments and um, look things over, you will make alterations to this whole situation the way it stands right now. This, uh, alterations are going to be made. Once that happens, I think things are going to be clear sailing for you. Things are going to start falling into place because of your capabilities here. Once you have the direction you want to move into, an advancement will be clear sailing once these, over, once these obstacles are overcome. So the key here is the choices, making the right judgments, then making the right choices. And that's, as far as your timing goes, strengthen your position by making these right choices. And you should go far with that. You should be able to do well with this. So one JJ Swiss just released. And um, hope you like it. Nice duck. I really think that this deck it's the second deck I bought in my life. I was a teenager and I always liked the artwork of this deck. The only two things I didn't like with this are two cards that were just didn't work well with me. And that's because that's why it's titled the JJ. And those two cards are Juno and Jupiter, which um, are Roman gods from ancient Rome. And I never liked those two cards. They take the place of the high priestess and the hierophant. And so I made two cards to, to take the, I made two cards to take the place of that. Here we have the hierophant. Jupiter is what they originally had, the Roman god Jupiter. And I decided to make a hierophant card. So I made the hero fit. That's my design. This is my design over here, the hero fit. So now if you buy the deck, you're gonna, you have the choice of using either what came with the deck originally, Jupiter, or my card, the hero fit in its place. And that's what you have. That's for both of us together. Or you can even use them both if you wanted to, I guess. 
I also did the other card was Juno, which comes with the original deck. Juno and Jupiter. And I instead of the high priestess. So I made a high priestess to take the place of Juno and Jupiter. So this here, this here is, is my designed card to be used as a high priestess. Those are see even two pillars in the background there. They're more ancient runes, but they're there. Just because nowadays we have the two pillars in the background of the high priestess. And she's holding the moon in her hand and a scroll. So that's what I got for her. Other than that, the deck is just a new palette with more depth in the background. I really think that this deck has got some kick to it. And I think it would work well in your readings. So that's the one JJ Swiss. Get it on my website, tarotmaps.com. Go to the international store. No matter where you are worldwide, you can pick it up. Complete 80 card deck. Two cards optional for the Juno and Jupiter, giving you now the High Priestess and the Hero Fit. I hope you like this. Keep throwing cards. We'll talk soon. Bye.